I'm going to show you how I cut my mangoes. So here we go. This is a ripe mango and I'll start from the top here. I'll get this piece off because um, I don't like to eat that. And then I'll get started um, on either side long ways. Um, I'll see where the seed is and position my knife. And then um, that's where I like to cut for that my first long piece. See how ripe and yellow that is. Then we go over to the other side and I'll do the same thing. Cut off that and I'm cutting it this way because I like to keep the skin on my mango. I, I eat it for fiber so, and it's pretty good for me. Some people prefer to leave that out. All right, and then using this part, I'll cut long ways and I won't cut all the way through. That way I can get the cubes um, when I'm done. So as you see, now I'm cutting horizontally after I did the vertical cuts and that gives me some bite-sized pieces. So I'll just keep doing this until I'm done with this piece. And then I'll repeat on the other side. All right, here's the other side and I'll do the same thing long ways. All right, that piece might be a little bit too thick, but I'll go with it. And you can slice them as thin as you want or as thick as you want. Prefer to eat them bite-sized. And then I'll go again and cut them horizontally. This will give me bite-sized pieces. All right, now for the seed. I'm still I still have some mango on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the sides because I don't like to waste any piece of my mango. All right, then I'll cut the little sides to bite-sized pieces as well. Now both on the left and the right. So see how much mango that is that we would have been leaving on the seed? Yeah, I know, I get to the little pieces too. And then I try to clean up the seed as well because there's plenty of flesh left on there. So the flesh is the part that we eat. And some people like to call it the pulp. So I'll go ahead and keep cleaning out this uh, seed until we get it all nice and um, empty. And here we have it. There's your seed, pretty much uh, gone. So all the flesh is in this bowl. And then we're gonna pour some tahine salt on there. I love it, it gives it a nice flavor and a kick. So if you haven't tried that with tahine salt yet, go ahead and try it and let me know what you think. So this is definitely the way I cut my mango. And now I'm gonna take a bite. Thank you so much for tuning in.